For more than 100 years, Glacier National Park in Montana has been a desired destination for people across the nation, especially in St. Paul, where city ties to the park date back to the early 1900s. As filmmaker Ken Burns says, the story of the parks is the story of the people. Our history is written on every mountain and trail at Glacier, defining what makes America, America. Thanks to a newly created program between the City of St. Paul, the National Park Service, Wilderness Inquiry, and the St. Paul Public Schools Advancement via Individual Determination Program, students are given an opportunity to experience an unchanged piece of our nation's history, Glacier National Park. Beginning in the summer of 2010, 12 students got to experience this unique opportunity, gaining a greater understanding of outdoor careers, developing relationships with their peers and education opportunities, and the potential to be placed in outdoor internships, educational programs, and eventually jobs. Mayor Chris Coleman is a proud supporter of this program and actually spent two years in college working in Glacier National Park. Well, first of all, it was my first time that I had spent uh, in the mountains, and, and you just you can, you'll never forget when you when you have your first opportunity to to be out there to explore, uh, to hike, uh, to feel the power of the wilderness, to feel the power of those mountains. It's great. The scenery when you're in the woods and the mountains, and the water is so clear. You can see the rocks at the bottom. It's just amazing. Wilderness Inquiry is a nonprofit organization. It's been around for over 30 years. And our mission is to really reach underserved populations of people and get them into the outdoors. Uh, each year we serve about 16,000 people and um, it's been really a fun program to do. The National Park Service is to serve all Americans and uh, unfortunately we get only a slice of America that comes and enjoys the national parks and typically we have a challenge reaching urban audiences. And so our, our opportunity in St. Paul is to introduce city people, and in this case, in this program, kids, to the national parks. This magnificent is like breathtaking, like for real. You can rarely see these places anywhere. Plus, the water's so clear, it's ridiculous. It's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. It's like the clearest water ever. It's really hard to talk right now. This is incredible. There are way too many people, and particularly people of color, that aren't going to Grand Tetons, that aren't going to Glacier National Park. I wanted, I wanted them to understand how incredibly beautiful, incredibly powerful this place is. I mean, this is definitely a new experience, you know. Uh, I'm not seeing uh, um, you know, buildings and stuff like that when I wake up. Now I'm seeing mountains and fresh air, you know, it's nice. This program is all about partnerships that work together to give urban youth a one-of-a-kind opportunity to experience the great outdoors in a national park, with the goal of these students bringing back the experience and knowledge necessary for a new job or career in the industry. Mike Hom, the St. Paul Parks and Recreation Director, shares more about this program. The overall program structure is shaped like a pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid, 10,000 youth are given an opportunity to engage and experience the great outdoors through canoeing and outdoor activities. Moving up a level, the current program and funding provides for more than 1,000 youth an opportunity to experience an overnight outdoors camping trip. Continuing up the pyramid, 100 kids will experience a national park. And at the top of the pyramid, 10 of these kids will be connected with jobs at the National Park Service, at St. Paul Parks and Recreation, and at partner agencies that can maximize their newly acquired skills. So as you can see, not only do these kids get to have a great experience, they get the opportunity to get linked up with jobs and careers, and I think that's great. Maybe they get so turned on by this experience that they're working for the National Park Service, or they're working for the DNR, or they're working for the variety of industries that, that are connected to the environment. I have new experiences now. I can share with people. Um, yeah, it just makes me more open-minded to things, you know, the people out there, the environment. Well, I think there's a lot of benefits for youth experiencing nature. You know, there's um, engagement, there's uh, awareness, there's kind of coming out of the, the shell that can sometimes be around young people. I was definitely nervous. Uh, we had a person, one of my friends with me, they took it upon themselves to do lots of research on the trip and animal attacks and where they happened at. 
and she came back and told me all these things, facts. So that definitely scared me. You learn about yourself. You learn about your skills. You learn about your capacities. You learn to overcome your fears. Uh, all of a sudden, they conquer that fear, and they become that much more confident. Like the thought of it at first was just like, like I don't know, kind of hard. But then once you're there, you don't think about it. Everything else is just gone. You're just focused on the like the environment, your surroundings, and the people you're with. Uh, for a lot of these kids, they grow up where there's violence in their neighborhoods, there's violence in, in the streets in front of them. Uh, they may hear gunshots at night, but the thought of sleeping outside is about the scariest thing that they can even think about. Um, I was excited, I was scared, didn't know what to expect, but I was looking forward to the trip. Uh, I couldn't wait till the next day. Um, my favorite part was the hiking and just being around everybody, and I got close to everyone, so it was a good way to get to know everyone. I got up early in the morning, ate breakfast, and then went out for day hikes. And then, so I left the whole camp for the whole day, and then I went out up into the mountains. Probably my other favorite part would be just rooming with my friends in the tent and just playing around and hanging around the camp site. So I've always like stayed in Minnesota my whole life, and I, people like most of my friends come and tell me about like their trips they've been on, Las Vegas and California and stuff like that. And throughout my whole life, I would be thinking like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do something that good. And then this opportunity come and I get to go to Glacier. It was just an amazing opportunity. Then I got there. It's way better than I expected it to be. It's just a great experience. There are a lot of different ways that we can impact the lives of young people in our community. Uh, we can help to steer them into a program after school, or we can help tutor or mentor them. And, and all of those things are great. But I got to tell you, if there's a kid that's been in the wilderness, that has conquered their fear, that has understood what it truly means to be an American and what, what, that, what that part of our soul as an American is, uh, it fundamentally changes them for the rest of their lives. I expected to see mountains, but I didn't think it would be this good. I'm watching this. I'm glad I came in. It's a very undescribable place, so you have to go and see for yourself. It was just an amazing opportunity. Then I got there. It's way better than I expected it to be. This program has tremendous benefits and is changing the lives of our St. Paul urban youth. If you would like more information about the program, visit the website at wildernessinquiry.org slash glacier. Happy trails. Happy trails.